popular app that can make you look older may be violating your privacy. Yeah, millions have used that face app, and cyber experts now want to warn users about a possible risk. Mm -hmm. This includes the access granted to your app with your images. That's right. KKLN's Crystal Cruz live tonight in Studio City to explain what's going on. Crystal. Hi, Susie. Yeah, lots of us are using this app. It's pretty fun to see yourself and uh, as an older person, but some are asking, could using this app actually affect our next election? I was seeing it all over my timeline, and so I downloaded it and I tried it out. Riley used FaceApp for the first time Wednesday. The app uses artificial intelligence to turn your selfie into an older you. But I looked ugly old, so. <laughs> <laughs> There's now concerns the app, owned by a Russian company, can access your personal data. Cyber specialist Philip Lieberman. People should be concerned using something like FaceApp because you are sending your private information to a server God knows where. With accusations of Russia meddling in our past election, some are wondering if apps like these could cause problems for our future elections. According to the Washington Post, the Democratic National Committee urged campaign staff to delete the app. With the election on the horizon, Lieberman says people working on political campaigns should have two phones. Political campaigns and even in the entertainment industry, you're supposed to have two phones. You're supposed to have one phone for business and another phone for personal. So on your personal phone, sure, you can install FaceApp and other kinds of cool, interesting apps, but with the idea that your phone may get compromised and so be it. And then your business phone shouldn't have anything on it like that at all. Lieberman says some of the best AI researchers are from around the world. So some of the greatest universities of this are in Russia, but also in the United States and even in China. Uh, pretty much all three countries are contributing to artificial intelligence research. If you want to find out who makes your favorite apps, you can go to the App Store on your phone and scroll down to the developer's website and do your research, says Lieberman. The most important thing they will tell you is what rights it wants on your machine. And those rights could be, for example, access to your phone contacts, to your email, or even the ability to get to your photos or your camera. The creator of FaceApp told us via email that even though most of their research and development team is in Russia, your data is not sent to Russia. Instead, it's sent into the cloud like Google Cloud, and then it's deleted after 48 hours. I'm Crystal Cruz in Studio City. Back to you in the studio. All right, Crystal, thank you.